China is an increasingly advanced military power. The enemies have united to make concessions in nuclear talks, creating some kind of new role for himself as a supreme leader. The United States national defense strategy is clear. The focus on combating violent extremist organizations over the previous two decades has allowed our strategic competitors to close the gap on our nation's military advantage. While rogue regimes continue to sponsor terrorism, these stabilized regions or advanced nuclear weapons programs are near-peer opponents have modernized, undermining long-established international order. In response, our national leaders have shifted the primary concern for national security back to interstate strategic competition. Complicating this shift is the increasing complexity in the international strategic environment. Rapid technological advancements that change the nature of war have led to ambiguous conditions where military, political, social, and economic realms overlap, and where all domains can be contested simultaneously. In an emerging world of protests and pandemics, of deep fires and deep fakes, there are no longer any easy answers. There is, however, the 1st Special Forces Command, the nation's Army Special Operations Division. Comprised of three interdependent Army Special Operations Regiments, it is uniquely organized, manned, trained, and resourced to operate in complex, ambiguous environments. While our roots began in World War II, with the 1st Special Service Force and Office of Strategic Services, the command now consists of more than 20,000 people, with elements deployed to over 70 countries. Soldiers from the 1st Special Forces Command operate in small teams around the globe, strengthening relationships with our partners and allies and complementing joint interagency, intergovernmental, and multinational efforts. Civil Affairs soldiers are the Army's experts in the civil domain. They engage with local populations and governments, to identify and counter potential threats and to advance our national interests. Psychological operations soldiers are the Army's experts in influence, using both traditional and modern means of communicating to shape the attitudes and behaviors of select foreign audiences. And Special Forces, or Green Berets, are the nation's premier partnership force who specialize in the indigenous approach, conducting operations by, with, and through partner forces. Each of these regiments is supported by our Special Operations Sustainment Brigade, which provides tailored intelligence, logistics, signal, and medical capabilities that allow our forces to operate freely around the world. While we indeed pursue the latest technology and equipment, what makes this command successful is not gadgets or gear. The men and women of this command are trusted to be adaptive innovators, are trained to navigate complex, sensitive landscapes, and are experienced in the ambiguity and uncertainty of the current global environment. They're regionally aligned, which fosters language proficiency, promotes deep cultural understanding, and forges those lasting relationships which make our teams trusted partners worldwide. As our strategic attention shifts to a new global competition, our military will be entrusted to deter adversaries, bolster allies, and able interagency partners and maintain stability in key regions. There is no unit more capable to take on these tasks and maintain the United States role as a beacon of freedom around the world. We are the nation's Army Special Operations Division. We are the 1st Special Forces Command.